Okay, so in this video, I'll show you how you can set up the backend locally on your on your device before we can implement the uh, app side because the backend is also required for this. And for that, we need a couple of things. So basically, what I have done is that I have installed a couple of things uh, on my uh, system that you will also need. So the first software that we need is this my my SQL Workbench. So basically, that's that's something that you need. Once you do that, you can just log in to this. Uh, when you set up, it will ask you for username and password. So you can just uh, give the same credential to that. And once you get over here, you you'll most probably not see anything over here because uh, you have not created any DBs. Since I have created some DBs, so I have them. Uh, or you might end up over here like this. So it doesn't matter. We we are not gonna basically look into this. Uh, the important thing over here is that you need to get over here into this six sign that is basically for create schemas. And you click on that. And once you click on that, you need to type in over here food delivery food underscore delivery make sure to 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 name it properly because this is the reference that we will be using in the web web based uh, app that we have so once you do that you can just apply this oh sorry uh, apply and it will just run this query you will just you apply this and once you apply that you'll, you'll see that now in the schemas you also have this food delivery uh, schema that's all you don't need anything else from this so once you do that you can just close this and get to this um, um, backend uh, that URL that you have. Uh, basically, this is under my uh, GitHub profile. So if you go to my GitHub profile, go to repositories, uh, you will find it somewhere over here, right? So for, for now, it's some something over here on top. You can just click on that as well, and it will open the same thing. Okay. So once you do that, you can either uh, download the zip folder from this from here, or you can uh, clone this uh, i would recommend you clone this because uh, it's not completely set up the backend will be updated as we basically develop this application so what i'll recommend is that you can just copy this from here uh, this food delivery uh, link and an open intellij okay so let's say if you have an intellij you can download community edition it's pretty simple or if you want to develop the same thing on android studio you can do that as well but what is what's important is that you click on this over here in the right section top right get from VCS and when you click that you can just paste it over here. So once you paste the link over here and clone it, it will basically clone the repository for you. And uh, once you like it will just clone that repository. Okay, so so once you clone it, uh, you'll get something something like this um, that will basically be the basic uh, project that we have. Uh, it will download. Uh, couple of dependencies and things like that you'll see some course some configurations over here as well uh, we, we are not gonna gonna do anything the only difference only change that you you would do is that if you basically when creating the database if it are uh, like if you change uh, the configuration for the for the database to something else then you need to change those values so normally what I do is that when I create the local uh, database I set the uh, db user and db password to root so that it's like an understandable uh, simple thing for me so if you have something else uh, as a password you can change it from here but make sure it is the same password that you set for the mysql connection workbench right so once you do that uh, you're done you don't have to do anything else uh, the next thing that you need to do is that you need to get over here into this application class and inside this application class, what you need to do is that you need to run this code. So once you run this code, it will uh, build for a while. Just, let's just wait for that to build. Okay, and once you when it's built, uh, you will see that it uh, show some sort of logs, which means that it will create some some dummy dummy data for now, and then you will see this thing. Uh, which means that it will tell you which URL or which path it is running on. And uh, once you click on that, uh, you will see that basically uh, this shows that hello world, which means the, the server is now running up and running. Uh, now you can basically implement the client side uh, stuff for that. Uh, this is how we are going to set up the backend. So let's say in future, if you want to get something, all you need to do is just you get pull from there and then you will get all the latest changes that we have. 
so that's how basically uh, it is going to be uh, the, the server is now set up and now let's just see now let's just so the server is set up and now let's just implement the android side of this so the server is set up and now we will implement the android side of this so i'll see you in the next video where we will basically set up our android app so till then have a great day happy coding i hope you liked the video and if you did please like the video comment down below and share the video with your friends for similar content you can subscribe to my channel you can also follow me on instagram and if you have any queries you can join my discord server where we discuss different kind of things so thank you so much for watching the video have a great day bye